When the patient attends the nuclear medicine department for a lung scan, they are greeted by the nuclear medicine practitioner, who may be a radiographer, a nuclear medicine technologist, or a nurse. The practitioner takes the patient into the nuclear medicine clinical area. This is a radiation supervised area because radioactive sources are used and so entry is limited to staff, patients and essential accompanying people. The practitioner checks the patient's identification to make sure that she has the correct person. She asks the patient about his symptoms, explains what will happen during the test and answers any questions that he may have about it. The practitioner inserts a small needle into a vein in the patient's arm. The needle is attached to a short plastic tube through which an injection can easily be given. The injection is kept in a lead lined box and the syringe is shielded with lead to protect the practitioner's fingers from the radiation. This injection is called a radiopharmaceutical and it contains small particles of protein with a radioactive marker attached to them. These particles stick in the patient's lungs showing if there are any blockages to the lung blood supply. After he has received his injection of radiopharmaceutical, the patient is taken to the gamma camera room where pictures of his lungs will be taken. The patient sits on a chair with his back to the gamma camera whilst it takes a picture that shows the blood flow to his lungs. This is known as the posterior perfusion picture. Alternatively, the patient may be asked to lie on a bed with the camera underneath. Now the patient puts on a face mask. This is connected to a generator that adds a small amount of radioactive gas to the air that he is breathing. The camera can take a picture showing airflow to the lungs. This is the posterior ventilation picture. Now the practitioner repositions the patient so that he is facing the gamma camera. Each picture only takes two or three minutes to acquire. Here the anterior perfusion picture is being taken and now the anterior ventilation picture. Then the practitioner positions the patient for an oblique view from his right hand side. And she acquires perfusion and ventilation pictures from this view. Finally the patient is positioned for an oblique view from his left hand side. and perfusion and ventilation pictures are required. An alternative method of obtaining the ventilation pictures is for the patient to breathe in an aerosol of small radioactive particles. For this, the patient is fitted with a mouthpiece and a nose clip. The aerosol can be produced in a machine like this. The patient takes a few deep breaths which allow the particles to deposit in his lungs in proportion to the airflow. Then the mouthpiece and nose clip can be removed and the ventilation pictures are taken. When all of the perfusion and ventilation pictures have been acquired, the practitioner checks that the patient is okay. And then he's free to leave the department.